Today we're going to be taking a look at a Figo sight tool and that's coming up next here on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. So what we're going to do today is take a look at this sight tool here from Figo. We're going to take it over to the table, open it up, see what all it comes with. I'm going to tell you some of the features about it, show you what it looks like with a slide in it, on how to adjust it, and then I'll give you my final opinion on it. So let's get started. Now we're at the table. Let's pop this open and see what all comes with it. Right off the bat on top, we've got a user manual. Let's pop this open and see what it looks like here. It looks very nice, detailed, very legible. Really like that. Really good pictures in it. Then we're going to pop it open here. And inside here, you can see we got the sight tool. We'll get that out and go over some of the features about it. Now this side tool comes with everything you need to work it. It comes with a handle here and it also comes with a wrench here. And that's all you need to run this whole thing on here. The side tool is made of aviation grade aluminum and 45 gauge steel, which ensures that it won't break easily. It makes it rigid and it won't rust. The sight tool has a dual purpose for front and rear sight removal and installation, and it also helps with windage adjustments. Another great thing about the sight tool is the rear sight tool works with 30 and 90 degree sights, so this has you covered on both ends. And the handle is also a 3 16 hex tool for removal of front sights that are like Glock style. I can think of a couple offhand like Glocks and Taurus that have that style hex on the bottom that you got to take the front sight off with, and this will help you out with that. So since we're at the handle right now, I would just want you to see all you got to do if you want to use it for a sight tool, this just unthreads right here. And once it's unthreaded enough, you pull it right out and you can see that it's a hex inside of there. And that makes it nice and easy to change those Glock front sights out. Then when you're done, you stick it back in here and thread it back in. And that way you can do your adjustments with this for a handle on this and it'll move it side to side depending which way you go. Another thing I like, you can see we got mounting holes here. So if you want to mount this to your desk, tabletop, or whatever you want to, you can. But you also can clamp it out too so you can remove it when you're not using it. I think that's a real nice touch. Now looking at this tool, you can see that the numbers back there will help you with your adjustments so you know where you're at. Fit and finish on this looks perfect. I don't see nothing that's loose. Everything moves nice and smooth the way it should. This looks like it's a real nice solid piece. There's a look at the back. That little dial here, this helps you raise and lower the bottom here to put your slide in and get it where you need to. Let's go ahead and get a slide and I'll demonstrate what it'll look like sitting in here. Now, one thing I do want to show you before we put the slide in, this does have like a rubber texture padding right here on all the pieces that would touch the slide. That way you don't have to worry about damaging it. So what I'm going to do is I got my Glock 17 slide here. I'm going to get this installed in here real quick so you can see how it works. Now, because YouTube frowns upon putting sights on or doing anything with sights, I'm not going to show you how to actually install or uninstall them, but I can show you how to set it up. So what you want to do is get your slide centered in here, and you can see the numbers up here. I'll try to get to focus in a little bit better. But those numbers right there, you get that zero lined up right dead center in your notch right here. And then you know that either way you move, you got a measurement on it. And then you just take this over here. You can see as you turn it one way, that would move the sight one way. And then you turn it the other way here. And that would move your sight the other way. This would be for windage adjustments or to remove and install these sights. And it would work the same on a dovetailed front sight too. Now, since we got the Glock slide out, you can see I have an aftermarket sight on this. You flip it over. And that screw right down there is what this tool is made to go on. This goes right on there and you can loosen or tighten that up with this tool. And that's a real nice feature about this. So as you can see here, this thing offers plenty of features. Not only does it do the rear sight, it could do a front sight if it's got a dovetail. The handle will come off and do a Glock style front sight. Fit and finishes on it is good. Has multiple mounting options. You can use a bolt and bolt it down or a clamp and clamp it down. That's a really nice feature to have two mounting options on it. And I really like that. It's nice, easy, simple to use. It's got the little measurements on there. So you know how much you're adjusting it. This is a great tool for anybody who's changing out their sights. 
So I'd like to thank Fiegel for sending this out to me to try out and do a video on. Now this is November 2022 and on November 24th, they're doing a sale on these. I'm going to leave a picture right here. They are tied in with Fiacci. And here's some of the stuff that you guys can get on the sale on 1124. I will leave links down below for you guys to this and other stuff from Fiacci. Also, I'm going to have links down there for Axial Hearing Protection. They're buy one, get one free right now. We the People Holsters has a good sale going on. I got a link down there. Check all my links out because everybody's going to have good deals right now for the Black Friday sales. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. We are One Nation Under God, and I'll see you all on the next one.